What's going on everyone? So I came across a really interesting survey that was done a couple years ago here in the US and it showed that two thirds or 61% of men wear jeans at least three times a week. But the really interesting part of that survey uncovered that women are even more likely than men to wear jeans. I think their number was like 63%. Now, not significantly more, but more. Interesting because I would have never even guessed that. However, because men are wearing jeans so often, today's video is about giving you some ideas on how you can mix things up a little bit every time you wear your favorite pair of denim. And really quick, right before I get started, if you don't know me yet, I'm John. And the whole reason that I make videos like this is to help older guys in this mostly ignored and overlooked demographic of middle-aged men to look their best and feel their best. And I'm glad that you're here. All right, starting with a normal medium wash blue jean, the first tip is to add a print shirt. Now, it doesn't have to be anything super crazy or super loud, but if you're always pairing up your jeans with a boring t-shirt, try adding something with a print. Now, as far as color goes, look for something with complementary colors to blue, like brown, burgundy, and green. Or you can even do something a little more monochromatic. So because you're already wearing blue jeans, go with anything in the blue family, light blue, dark blue, or anything with a blue pattern. Next is to incorporate some layers. So one of my favorite things to do is to go with some kind of a sweater. Now, of course, this is all gonna depend on your climate, but the great thing about layers is that all of the layers should be able to work independently on their own. For example, this pair of blue jeans with this shirt and sweater works really well because the shirt can work well all on its own and the sweater adds additional dimension, color, and visual interest. Now, if sweaters aren't your thing, try a couple different types of lightweight jackets and overshirts. For example, bomber jackets look great on practically everybody, and of course, they come in a ton of different colors and styles. You can go with something like super lightweight, but if the weather is still kind of cold where you are, go with something a little bit heavier. Now, overshirts and field jackets are another good option. Again, Lots of different options here in terms of colors and styles. All right, mixing things up a little bit, you don't always have to go with blue jeans, right? Denim comes in all sorts of different colors, so it's nice to have a few more options, at least in my opinion. Go with something in a rust color, light brown, dark brown, green, gray, whatever. Going with different colors is probably one of my favorite ways to spice up an otherwise boring and plain look. Now, it's not that you can't do a lot with blue and black denim, but throwing in an additional color or two is a great way to look a little bit different and increase the versatility in your entire wardrobe. Okay, going back to blue jeans, another way to style them is to pair them up with warm and cool tones. An easy way to do warm tones is with various shades of red and brown, like light brown, dark brown, or even something in the orange and mustard family can work pretty well. So if you don't have a lot of warm tone items, incorporate light tones or cool tones, light blue, cool green, and light gray are a few pretty good options to start with. All right, now let's talk about shoes and boots. White sneakers and brown boots are gonna be the most versatile options that you can go with. You can go with an all white sneaker like this or something with a gum sole that won't show as many scuff marks around the sides of the sole. Suede chucka boots are another extremely versatile option because they can go with practically everything. Now, if you like a more rugged boot, that's another great option. Darker shades of brown or even olive green look great with denim. All right, if you wanna dress things up a little bit, once again, brown is gonna be the most versatile option. And because you're wearing jeans, you still wanna keep things pretty casual, I'm assuming. So you can either go with a loafer in light shades or dark shades of brown. And one step up from that would be a derby with some brogue detail. Now, brogue just refers to all the little hole punches in the leather, and the more broguing there is, the more casual the shoe is. And this makes this type of shoe a nice looking, but also casual option for jeans. And one more thing, if you made it this far, you are one of the true legends, and I hope this video was helpful. And if so, please do me a favor and hit that like button to let the YouTube algorithm know that I'm still alive. And as always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. 
live well, and I'll see you in the next one.